Welcome to the Gotchman Family Collection. I'm Becky Gotchman. We have been collecting for just under three years. The collection that you're about to see is in our family home of mostly living artists at any given time. 20% um, of our collection is on the road at various institutions. I'm Zach Foyer. I co-founded Forge Project with Becky, and I am the director of the family collection. And this is Rachel Martin. I am Rachel Martin. I'm Flinket from the um, Eagle Killer Whale Clan. I'm an artist in residence at the Gotchman Family Collection, and I'm also a co-curator with collections as well. This is our dining room. One of the first pieces that we bought is a commission piece done by Rachel. In these works, um, this was specific to this household because this is before the rest of the collection came into the house. I wanted the family to be represented here as well as feel comfortable um, and, you know, represented. So here in the middle, we'll start with the fact that they have two daughters. Um, and there's elements of eagle feathers as well as different types of birds. So you can kind of see elements of form line. Um, and, you know, the two daughters are really just looking at each other. And I kind of love that. It's a support system. Um, on the opposite sides are representing Becky and David. The idea of exploring family kind of works out really well for the entire collection because um, as an indigenous people, you know, it's just a very large family. This is our uh, foyer. This piece is by Januka Hanska Luger, the Mandan Danza. He often uses industrial felt and a variety of mixed media. I, I think it really makes sense here as one of the intro pieces to the collection because of its connection back to or forward to indigenous futurism. He's using what feels like at times traditional regalia in a very sci-fi futuristic way and imagining this future existence, this future world, which is like pretty exciting and shows up in various characters and films in his work. Um, so this piece is a very important part of the collection that is fairly recent by Bodic. He's Kwa Kwa Kewakwa. This is called Rich Woman, which is a really important way of having a conversation about wealth and what it means to different cultures and also how it applies to the collection. Uh, this is a work by Nicholas Gallinen, uh, who's a clinket artist, and he is a master carver, carving for many, many years in, in different formats, um, including making traditional totems. Um, this carving is not by him. This is a carving that was a uh, knockoff made in Southeast Asia that he bought online and had it shipped to him in Alaska. He then chopped it up and painted it. It's called, I think it goes something like this, because every time you install it, it's a little bit different. <laughs> this is a punching bag by Jeffrey Gibson. Um, because it's a gym, we have a punching bag, of course. Uh, Jeffrey is uh, Choctaw and Cherokee. And this is a pretty major piece of beadwork. Uh, he's an artist currently based in upstate New York, um, but this series started when he was living in New York City um, as a young artist, sort of trying to make it, and he was having frustrations, and he wasn't really able to like make his work successful, and he was really angry, and he went to a therapist, and his therapist said, you should get a punching bag. Um, and the punching bag then became a really important part of his work. Um, in a lot of ways, the punching bag holds the anger and the frustration, but also there's an immense amount of joy in these song lyrics, in this beadwork, and in the beauty of this piece. Well, thank you for visiting our home and checking out the collection. And this collection is available completely online at gotchmancollection.com. It is also available to visit for other arts professionals by reaching out on the website.